Are you considering using Squarespace for your blog, but maybe you're not quite sure, well, I actually like the blog editor or the platform, or maybe you're concerned that the SEO is not up to snuff. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a full Squarespace blogging tutorial from start to finish. But before we do, I want to clear up the very important Squarespace sucks for SEO myth. Yes, myth. Now this myth makes a lot of people think like, oh, I would love to use Squarespace. It's just so easy to use and so beautiful, but I feel like it won't be good for SEO. So I have to go with WordPress. If that is the case, then I have news for you. I have blogged on Squarespace for more than six years and I've written over 500 blog posts, which have generated millions and millions of page views, all from organic traffic that comes from Google. Google is by far and away the top referral source to our website. So I know for sure that Squarespace blogs can indeed rank in Google from my own experience. But I did actually want to test just one time to see if we could get even more traffic by moving over to WordPress. So my amazing team member Vicky spent literally months moving our website, moving our 500 plus blog posts off of Squarespace and onto a WordPress blog. And I'm happy to report that the test results are in. We got the exact same traffic to our website when our blog was on Squarespace and when we moved our blog over to WordPress. But I can tell you a thousand percent, it was so much easier to manage our website when it was on Squarespace. So we happily moved our website on back to Squarespace and are still enjoying our same blog traffic that we were getting on WordPress. Now I'm going to have a full video comparing Squarespace SEO and WordPress SEO and blog traffic. We're going to give you an in-depth on all those numbers and details and the tests that we did. And so when it's ready, I will link it up here and also in the description below, or be sure just subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified when that video comes out. Okay. So let's move in to the actual laptop so I can show you step by step how to use the blogging platform inside of Squarespace. Okay, so we're here on my website and let's create a blog page. So first we're gonna head into the pages tab and then one already exists here. I'm just gonna delete it to show you from the start. So in order to create a blog page, if you want it in your top navigation, which you probably do want it in your top navigation, that's like the typical location to have your blog page, then we would click the plus button in the main navigation area. If you wanted it not linked on your website, it would come down here, but you probably don't want that. So click the plus button here, and then we want to choose the blog page type. Now in terms of the design, there are a few design options that are here for you. Now you can truly customize this any which way. The way to do that is with the tags and categories and a summary blog. I have a video which fully explains that. So if you want an uber custom blog page design, then be sure I'll link the video up above here where you can find that out. But for right now, I'll just choose the one which feels best to me. I'm going to go for this guy here on the right. But again, if you want a different blog design style, then check out that other video. So if you wanted to create a new blog post, what you would click is the plus button and then it would open up our blog post editor. So the great thing about the editor in Squarespace is that as you write the post, it's quite literally within the website and you can immediately preview without even needing to click a button exactly what it's going to look like. So I'm going to add in a title. So this is for a finance website. So let's say the seven steps you need to take for a secure retirement. And then we come down into the actual content area. Automatically, it has a text block in here for you. So you can start typing in your blog content, but it's not only text that you can have in a blog. So let me add a bit more text here. Let me first show you what we can do with the text editor, and then we'll go into the other things that you can add to your blog. So I'm going to highlight on this text here and say, I want to turn that into a larger bit of text. That one looks quite nice. I can play around with the heading options that are here in the paragraph options, which are here as well. We can also do things like we can change the color of a word, for example, if we wanted to, that's good. Um, and then you have other typical options like in any text editor, bulleted points, uh, numbered list, strike through. If you want it to be aligned in a different way, those options are there for you as well. Now let's get into the other types of options that you can add onto a blog post. So we're going to click the plus button, the insert point, and then it brings up all the different types of Squarespace blocks that we have. So add images, you can add galleries, buttons, videos, forms, spacer blocks, newsletters, code blocks. If you want to insert some software from somewhere else, you can do drop down accordions, add charts, add calendars, all sorts of different things. You could add, you could use a summary block. This is very helpful. Say if you had products on your, 
maybe a shop page and you were writing a blog post about the four different types of camera backpacks or something, then you could literally, if you had, if you sold like camera backpacks in your shop, you could then use the summary block to pull in the products from your shop into your blog post, which again, you can see is very useful. Or alternatively, if you were doing a blog post on like my seven step nighttime skincare routine and you sold some of those products on your shop, again, you could pull them in with the summary block. So do know that again, you can add all of these different bits and pieces into your blog post as well, which is really fun. The next thing I wanna show you is, we're gonna hit save, and then we're gonna hit on the settings of this specific blog post, and it's gonna open up a few things for us. So our featured image, if you upload an image to this blog post, then automatically this featured image will be populated for whatever the first image that you added to the post. If you wanted a different image, then you could add that in here. When you are on your blog homepage, let's say, so here, let me come back here. The featured image is the one that gets pulled in here. So if you want to change that, again, that's in settings, and then you upload the image there. If you want to write an SEO excerpt for this, so this is like a little preview text that would be shown in the search results, so you could pop that in there as well. You can edit the actual URL slug. Now this is way too long <laughs> of a URL slug. You want your URL slugs generally to have like just a couple words, let's say like three or four words, and you want it to be the keywords of the post. So we would definitely remove, let's see, seven, probably just seven steps retirement. That would probably be good. That's all good. Then we can go into our other options. Right now, this is a drafted item. So that means like only we can see it in the back end. It's not published anywhere. You could take it to be needs review. So say if you had an editor who you wrote the blog post and someone comes in to like spell check it, <laughs> then um, you could mark it for needs review. So then if the editor comes in, they know immediately, like just look for the ones that say needs review. You could set it to either be scheduled or to automatically publish. So if you want to publish right away, you just click publish and then you hit save. Alternatively, if you want it to be scheduled to publish, this means like you want it to go out at some specific day and time. Say for example, you want the blog post to go out uh, on the 26th at 6 a.m and then hit save. And then at that day and time, this post would then publish. So that means I don't need to be sitting at my website when I want the post to go live. Now back in the settings area, we're gonna have to SEO. Again, this just gives you a preview of exactly what would be shown in the search results. And again, you could change that there. Social sharing image is again, this will pull in automatically whatever the like featured image is. If you want something different, this is like if you post a link to Facebook, for example, it's like the image preview that would show up. That's the image right there. Sharing location, I honestly never actually use those. So I'm just gonna close that. <laughs> Now, the other thing which you might be wondering, a lot of people ask me this, can you use the Yoast plugin on Squarespace? So a lot of people know and are familiar with the Yoast plugin. I would call it like the equivalent of a digital checklist. So basically what the Yoast plugin does is when you write a blog post, it will say like, hey, okay, these are the keywords which you were intending to hit. Maybe it's like secure retirement was maybe the keyword you were trying to hit, for example. So you would tell Yoast like, hey, this is the keyword which I wanna rank for. And then Yoast, the plugin would tell you like, okay, make sure like, is that in your title? Yes or no, like add it to your title. Is it in the name of your your image, yes or no, add it to the name of your image. Is it mentioned at least like two times throughout your blog post or whatever? If it is, if it isn't, then it would tell you what to do. So basically, again, think of Yoast as a digital checklist. Now, Yoast does not exist inside of Squarespace. You don't need any plugins. You don't use plugins with Squarespace, which makes it a breeze to use the platform. But again, know that like what people often get wrong is they think, oh, well, when I get Yoast on my blog, it gives me better SEO. And that could literally not be further from the truth. Like that would just mean that everyone in the world would add this plugin to their website and suddenly be at the top of the search results. But clearly there's only so many top of the search results. That doesn't make any sense. Again, Yoast doesn't add any like SEO juice to your blog post at all. It just basically gives you a digital checklist of make sure you have these things here. Whereas I would literally just create yourself a physical checklist, like make sure my keywords in my title, make sure my keywords in my URL slug, make sure my keyword is in my name, my images, make sure my keyword is mentioned a couple times throughout the actual content of the post. And then most importantly, write a really fantastic in-depth post on whatever the topic is. And that's what's gonna get you ranked in Google, not just having a plugin added on. Okay, so now that you know how to use the Squarespace blog, you you still need to know how to build the rest of your website on Squarespace and also learn to customize your template. Lucky for you, I created a full step-by-step -step tutorial on just that, so be sure to watch this video next where I will show you all the things that you can do inside of Squarespace so you can really take your blog design up a notch.